Number one, The Perfect Storm. The Perfect Storm is a well-crafted example of a film of pure sensation. It is about ships tossed by a violent storm. The film doesn't have complex and involving characters, but they're not needed. It doesn't tell a sophisticated story and doesn't need to. The main events are known to most of the audience before the movie begins. The movie, based on the bestseller by Sebastian Junger, is mostly about a fishing ship named the Andrea Gale out of Gloucester, Massachusetts, which had the misfortune in 1991 of running into the middle of the monster when three great storm systems collided in the Atlantic. Number two, open water. The movie stars Blanchard Ryan and Daniel Travis as Susan and Daniel. They come from a world of SUVs and cell phones and busy work schedules, and now their lives have been reduced to the fact that they are floating in the ocean. With their scuba outfits, they can float for a long time, much longer indeed than will be of any interest to them. The sea is calm, the water is cold, but not cold enough to kill them. The opening scenes explain, with implacable logic, the series of events that leads to two scuba divers being counted twice so that the boat returns to port with 18 divers, although it left with 20. If this seems like inexcusable carelessness, well, we kind of understand how it happened. And the movie is based on a true story of two divers left behind. Number three. Rescue Dawn. Rescue Dawn, based on Dangler's experiences, begins early in the Vietnam War, when Dangler is a U.S. Navy pilot stationed on a carrier in the Gulf of Tonkin. At 18, he enlists to get American citizenship and to fly. Assigned to a secret illegal bombing mission over Laos, he is shot down, and the film involves his experiences as a prisoner of war, his escape, and his harrowing fight for survival in the jungle. He was one of only seven Americans to escape from a Viet Cong POW camp and live. Dengler, played by Christian Bale, scoffs at his flimsy bamboo cell until a fellow American tells him, don't you get it, it's the jungle that is the prison. 